basically, y'all, yeah, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Yayo, but y'all already knew that. And if you didn't, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Damn, once again, the lighting be looking real nice. But anyway, I'm back with another video. This time I'm filming a little bit later than usual. Usually when I film, it's like when I barely wake up, maybe like 30 minutes after I wake up. So I can't really speak and shit, you know, my mouth is all glued shut. But you know, right now, my class is done, so I had to hop in the whip and do this little video for you guys. And honestly, I didn't even have this video planned. Almost the majority of all the stuff I'm gonna be talking about right now, it all happened this morning. People were sending all of this stuff in, so that's why I decided to hop in the whip and do this video. So you know, I'm not gonna be talking too much this time, I'm just gonna hop straight to it. This time around, we got four topics to talk about, so let's just hop straight to them. But before I get started, let me just say rest in peace to Angel from Clave 51, the singer of Clave 51. For those that don't know, he got cancer sometime around last year and he barely announced it like I want to say a month or two ago. And you know he was 17, his battle with cancer was short. Sadly, you know, he was gone too soon. God had other plans for him. But you know, prayers to his family, his friends. Rest in peace, Angel. Make sure to leave that in the comment section down below. Rest in peace, Angel. Long live, Angel. Make sure to spam all of that down there. But moving along, let's just start with our first topic. So as some of you know, those that follow me on TikTok, um, on there, I just post like clips of my videos and whatnot, like little funny parts and shit. So, you know, a lot of people in my last video, they were laughing at the fact that I said that Lilu's TikToks were whack because she hasn't done the WAP. So, you know, I went ahead and screen recorded that. I posted it on TikTok. It kind of blew up. I wouldn't say it really, really, really blew up, but it kind of blew up. And, you know, a lot of people really thought it was funny, but then there's also those people that, you know, were triggered over that shit. But let me just say, to keep this topic short once again, it was just a joke obviously. And a lot of people were saying it wasn't the fact that I said her TikToks are whack or whatever or that she hasn't done the WAP. But it was the fact that I said she was a nobody before Pedro. But I only said that because I didn't know about her before Pedro. And if you did know about her before that, then congratulations. I don't know what to say to you. But that was that. You know, I just wanted to bring that up. A lot of people were triggered over that little part of the video. But then a lot of people thought it was funny. But that's just the way it is. There's nothing I could do about it. There's always going to be the people that are like that. And I can't change them. But anyway, let's just move on to the second topic. So that one was first, just, you know, to keep it short and whatnot. But next, Grupo Triple L. In my last video, I said their album was going to drop on Friday. Today's Thursday, and the album dropped last night, I guess, at 9 p.m., you know, Pacific time. So I guess it was Thursday out on the East Coast. So the album dropped, I guess you could say Thursday, Wednesday, whatever. So the album dropped, I guess, a day earlier because I'm pretty sure it would have dropped today at 9 p.m. But let me just say that album was a banger. The Bajo Locha and the album specifically, it goes hella hard. Like, it's a slapper for sure. There was like four songs that Chano was singing and three songs where Hector was singing. And honestly, some of you guys know that before I would criticize Hector, that I didn't really like his voice or whatever. But honestly, now after hearing him on that album, Shit, I mean, they both go hard, Chano and Hector. So Grupo Triple L and Lo Que Andamos is finally out. So make sure to go check it out if you haven't. And if you did, make sure to comment down below what you thought about it. But me personally, that shit was a banger. I'll give it a nice little 9 out of 10 just because it was their first album. It was a little bit short. could have been longer. And they probably could have had some features on there. But either way, it went hard. So make sure to go check that shit out. But let's move on to the next topic. So my next two topics, which are pretty much my last two topics, um, I posted them this morning on my yayo underscore television instagram and that stuff was sent to me like last night around midnight but i didn't see them until today when i woke up because i was already knocked out by midnight so first the first one someone sent this in right here and as you can see they're like in the hp records like headquarters whatever the fuck you want to call them and honestly that art on the wall is clean as fuck i'm pretty sure g reps did that whole shit it's like a brick wall and then the hp records logo is like breaking the wall and shit it's coming out and then all you see is other groups other artists on the wall and if you look closely in the back you can see one specific artist so here it is again and double check that shit make sure you guys are seeing it correctly so as you can see you can see hermanos figueroa i think under hermanos figueroa is grupo Sendado. and then to the right is marca 530 and then under that is grupo la palma but on top of marca 530 next to hermanos figueroa if you look closely you can see it says clearly tony loya so again is this another hint that he's really joining hp records i don't know because neither DMG or HP Records has said anything. But you know, it's safe to say that JD and Tony Loya have officially, you know, made an alliance and shit. I guess you could say made a friendship. Because even in JD's vlog, you know, the Smoke Me Out Tour vlog, if you haven't seen that, make sure to go check it out. Tony Loya was pretty much with them the whole trip. He was with them in the airport. He was with them at the Smoke Me Out Tour, you know, backstage and shit. So again, is he joining HP Records? I don't know. We just gotta wait for them to announce that shit. So, you know, we just gotta stay tuned and stay tuned for that video. Because once they announce something, you already know I'm gonna have a video out for you guys. But moving on to the last topic, which is gonna be the longest topic. Again, something I posted on my Yayo underscore television Instagram. And I know I've said that I didn't wanna talk about this person anymore on my channel, but I'm bringing this up because this has to do more with his work rather than, you know, his personal life or, you know, his group breaking up or his accident or whatever. And either way, I've said it before, his work, I still fuck with it. You know, I'm gonna just say it, Chato, Marca Me Pe. I still fuck with his old songs. Despegando el vuelo and No Me Quejo, I still listen to them here and there. 
the Flores EP. Obviously, I listen to them here and there when I'm feeling simpy. And his En Vivo EP, I also listen to it here and there. Except for El Huero, because that song is overplayed as a motherfucker. Don't even talk to me about that song because I hate that shit. I can't stand it. And his Preferidas albums, I don't really listen to them because I don't really like covers and shit. But anyway, what I'm going to be talking about right now regarding his work is the song La Vida del Leon. Some of you have heard it. Some of you probably haven't. So I'm going to just put a clip of it right here. It's going to be like a minute long, a little bit over a minute long. So if you want to skip it, feel free. But here it is right here. That song's a banger that shit probably would have been as big as el huero but basically last night you know people were asking chato questions and whatnot and probably for like the 69th time someone has asked them about that song la vida de leon and you know what happened to it well how come they never released it and pretty much this is what he had to say he's pretty much saying that they didn't release it you know for personal reasons with el leon who's the person you know that the song was made for and basically in a way chato was saying that that person was two-faced that he pretty much turned out to be different than what he seemed and then el leon like i said the person that the corrido was made for he responded saying this. I'm gonna just leave it up while I give my explanation to it. I don't know if you guys wanna hear me talk or you wanna pause and read it, but I'm just gonna leave it up while I talk. So basically, he's pretty much saying that Chato was ungrateful that people get one hit, which was pretty much El Huero, and they think that they're Vicente Fernandez. And honestly, that was kind of like an odd choice to compare with. But anyway, he said he paid a composer to write the song and he passed it over to Chato because it fit his style. And he paid Chato to record it in the stew. And then he said he pulled up to Marca Mepe's first concert in which he got fucked up like drunk fucked up and he said Marco Mepe's staff was pretty much tripping on him why I have no idea but he said his staff brainwashed Chato and made him believe shit that wasn't true including that El Leon pretty much offended Marco Mepe's manager who I'm pretty sure we all know who it is you know there's no need for me to say names and you know he pretty much just ended it saying that he was simply drunk and he didn't let them humiliate him so he defended himself so basically that was pretty interesting and if I'm being honest no one really writes a paragraph on their Instagram story if it isn't true but obviously this whole thing was from last year so it's not really a big deal now. I guess they just both brought it up, you know, because people keep asking about it. But you know, it pretty much sucks that they're never going to release it because like I said, it was a banger. It could have been as big as El Huero. And y'all just heard it right now and y'all know damn well it was a banger. But anyway, that was it for this video. There wasn't too much chisme today. I just wanted to keep it short for you guys. You know, have a nice little video up for you guys today. But it's currently 11. I got to go edit these videos. I got a class at 2. So hopefully I can edit this shit quick. Export this motherfucker. Upload it on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy this shit. And then I go to my class and be miserable. But yeah, that was it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for some more banger videos. Because I'm Yayo. They love Yayo. Mm -hmm.